Welcome everybody to Scott Cooks. Today, we'll be using our New Wave Brio 15.5 quart oven to cook these ribeye steaks. These steaks are mostly frozen. I've had them in the refrigerator for a couple hours. We got 1.2 pounds of steak here. They're running about a half inch thick. And we're gonna do them in the oven at 400 degrees for 30 minutes. We're looking for medium on these. They'll rest for five minutes under a little foil. And uh, that should do it just about perfect. The first thing we gotta do with our Brio as usual is preheat it. Now the Brio is set to automatically go to preheat. I'll start from a power off for you. Power on, pre. I'm going to change the watts to 1800. We're going to raise the temperature to 400. Now this will default to 15 minute cook time after the preheat is reached. We can modify that if we want. And we want 30 minutes. Now this is after the preheat, you understand? So I'll put it back on that for you and we can go ahead and start it. Now, the only thing that I'm going to do here, other than put the steaks in, is once I've reached the 400 degree mark, I'm going to pull that uh, metal mesh rack out, that one right there, and I'm going to spray just a little bit of Pam on it, very light, and uh, drop the steaks right on after I season them with, you know what I'm going to season them with, my favorite seasoning. If you can't find it in your stores, I got a link in the description where you can pick it up off of Amazon. When the steaks are coming to an end, I'm going to put a little onion. Take me a nice big slice of this white onion here. I'm going to slice up some of these mushrooms. And we're going to roast some mushrooms and onions right on the side as the steaks finish up. Look at those beauties. And that's what we're going to do tonight. I like to press the seasoning down in a little bit. Keep in mind these are pretty frozen steaks. It's getting a little liquid on my hands, but uh, they're pretty froze. This is going to be a really good test of the Brio and how it handles frozen to cooked. I'm expecting it to work just fine. Looking forward to it. And uh, we'll just cook them this way, this side up. Uh, we will be flipping the steaks halfway through the cook. So at 15 minutes, we'll be flipping. All right, we just hit 400. We just pulled the rack, put a little Pam on it. And we're going to go ahead and get our steaks in here. Get the door shut. Timer will continue from 30. It paused when I opened the door, right, right as it hit the 400 mark. And at 15 minutes, we're going to flip these steaks over check a little internal temperature, and try to guesstimate when we want to get our veggies in. And that's what I'm going to do for vegetables. I've got everything really thick cut on purpose. Big, thick pieces of mushroom, thick pieces of onion. Brio will pause when we open the door. We're at our 15 minute mark now. Just going to do a quick flip. But we're going to position our steaks a little further back this time. because I want room to get my vegetables up front. So uh, we're looking good. I'm not sure we're going to go the whole 30 minutes. That's the point of the thermometer. Um, different things take different times to cook. And inside this little Brio, uh, things cook really fast because it gets really hot. <laughs> so we're going to keep an eye on it, get our veggies uh, are ready. I spritzed a little uh, grapeseed oil over them, put a little garlic salt on them, and uh, we'll be laying those right up the front here in just a couple minutes. I'm going to actually pull a steak out onto a plate, get an accurate temperature. It's a little hard to do inside the oven because it's an instant read thermometer and the inside temperature is 400 degrees. So I'm going to pull it out on a plate, do a real fast test. If I need to put it back, I will. If not, we'll shut her down. Let's see what happens. Try not to take all the mushrooms with me. 
keep that cooking while we give that a check. All right, let's see what we got, y'all. I like to go right up in the, oh, it's so tender. Showing right at 160, 159, 160, no blood coming out. Those steaks are done, we'll let them rest. And I think we'll have a really good temperature for me. Everybody likes theirs different. You know, you guys can just leave it in a little longer. Uh, yeah, these are resting really nice. See the little juice coming through nice and clear. I love it. Let me get the other one out real quick. We're going to let those rest about five minutes. Uh, I've got the onion and mushrooms still in the oven on. Uh, they needed just a couple more minutes, maybe about two minutes. I think these steaks are almost perfect. I won't cut into them until I let them rest. Okay, we're going to get them to the right temperature. Let me finish up a few other dinner items here and we'll come back and cut into it and take a bite. Hey everybody, let's cut into this bad boy. Oh my goodness, that is so tender. Look at that. Cutting right through it. Get a nice piece off of here for you to see. Now for us, this is how we like it. You can see a line of pink running. Juices coming out. Absolutely perfect. I know a lot of you guys who watch these videos like your steaks a little less cooked than that, but that's easy in the Brio, just a little less time. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a bite. i smelling this for half an hour. I'm looking forward to this bite, y'all. So tender, crispy edges, melts in your mouth. I'd say the Brio has done it again. It's two ribeye steaks, 400 degrees. This is from almost rock solid frozen. I uh, didn't finish the 30 minutes. I did about 23, 24 minutes tops. Pulled them out, let them rest five minutes. And for me, that's a perfect steak. Want them a little more well done, a little less done. Just adjust your time by a minute or two, and uh, you'll be fine. I want to thank everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, make sure you hit that bell for notifications. Click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave me some comments. Let me know what you're doing in your Brio and uh, how things are going out for you, coming out for you. Uh, for me so far, love this little device. It's working great. See you soon.